What's up, Mandalorians? Today we teach you how to broadcast your video player, your computer, device, etc. into the metaverse. And as a bonus, we show you how to stream your TV shows and movies. Shh. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in the metaverse. Welcome, Metalorians. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, my hands are disappearing, but here they are again. All right, we're good. If you haven't yet gotten into the metaverse or even know what it is, well, I'll paste a link in the description for you to follow. Today, we're going to focus on using a Windows computer because Mac is still finicky when it comes to streaming into meta using the Edge browser that comes with Windows 10, and Altspace web browser, or web projector as they call it, and how to put it all together into your worlds as shown in here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and everywhere. And we are going to show you how to do that right now. By the way, if you don't know me, I'm Israel Galindo, AKA Is Radio in Meta, and all over social media. Our channel is here to give you insight and provide value in both IRL, in real life, and in the metaverse. And a little tip, subscribe to us so we can continue to show you how to monetize in the metaverse and get you paid. Cha-ching. So the first thing you wanna do is open up Edge Browser on your computer. And then you can go to the settings window all the way at the bottom. And then from settings, you can then look at the version of your current browser item. Now for us, when you go to about, you're going to have Microsoft Edge browser. Our latest version as of this video coming out is version 98.0.1108.43, the official build. But as long as you've got Windows up to date, you will have Microsoft up to date. Now, do note that this is a Windows 10 computer. Windows 11 does have a hard time streaming the desktop, but it still can stream your web pages. So that's a plus for all of you that have new computers running Windows 11. Now, let me point something out. Why would you want to stream desktop? Well, that's so you can show your entire screen during your streaming sessions, including all your applications, Word, Excel, documents, and pretty much everything you can think of, you can show. Even, believe it or not, I have Metaverse running here. Um, this is an actual shot of inside the Metaverse, but I can have that running and streaming it on top of my browser so I can show people what's going on, an example, in a nightclub, etc. Now, a lot of these things you can do is you can broadcast applications, Word documents, presentations, everything you do in your current system. For me, example, I work inside the metaverse, so I would be streaming my entire computer system and my browsers, my calendars, and literally work inside a world with my computer in front of me while I'm working in the metaverse. So that would be the reason why I personally would use it in that way. So, okay, so let's start getting it installed. The first thing you want to do is within the Edge browser is go ahead and open altvr.com, which is going to be Altspace. You're going to go ahead and sign in. Now, there is two ways to sign into that. One of them is Microsoft, and one of them is Altspace login. They both authenticate you to get in. Microsoft is a little more finicky when it comes to security, but you can do either or. Now, if you haven't gotten an account yet, go ahead and register on Microsoft for free and get hooked up. And then go to our link in our description for the web browser download, um, which is gonna be right here, or you can type it in yourself. Uh, once you're in Alt VR, you can search within Altspace for web projector, or you can type or click the link that we've given you in the description, which is account that altvr.com slash web underscore projector. Now, when you've got that in there, we're going to sideload 
a plugin. Now, unlike Chrome and Firefox, you manually have to load this plugin by yourself. It's pretty easy to do so. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to accept that, which will download the plugin, which you can see I've already downloaded many times uh, just for training purposes. And then from the downloads, what you want to do is we're going to extract this file to a folder. So you're just going to hit open file. If you have a zip browser, which most applications in Windows do, if you don't, you can always just do zip.com or WinRAR or any of those. And we'll also put those in the description for you. Now we're going to highlight everything and we're going to extract it. Now you can extract it anywhere to downloads to a certain folder. For me, I'm going to use a specific folder. You can use whatever you like to use. You can even use the one I'm typing right now. Now, I already have it extracted in there, but I'll extract it one more time. It's just going to let me know that I've already got data in there. You're not going to get this window. Again, this is just because I'm extracting it to the same place. Now, once you've got that extracted to a folder, you're going to go back into the Edge browser. You're going to hit the little three dots on the right hand side on the top right. And then you're going to hit extensions. Now, when you hit extensions, you're going to manage extensions. And then what I want you to do is toggle this developer mode to on, which should be blue as you're seeing it right now. When you toggle it on, it'll be blue. Now, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're now going to enable that plugin. So you're going to load on the, on the center where I am hovering right now. You're going to load unpacked. And then you're going to find that folder that you have. Now, if you extracted it to downloads, it'll be in downloads. For me, I've actually extracted it to apps and web projector. All I need is that folder. I don't need to go to any other folder except that. And I'm going to hit select folder. Once I do that, you will notice that it'll actually install Altspace Projector. Now, because I already have it running, it didn't pop up as it's going to do for you. When you install it, it's going to put a little Altspace icon on the top right of your Edge browser, which has the triangle for Altspace, which is there logo. Okay, so now comes the fun part. You're going to select that little icon and you're going to log in. Now, I'm already logged into this one. So all you're going to do is you're going to get a login window. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can get that login window to come up for you. There you go. So, and you're just going to log in with the login information that you use to get into Altspace. I'm going to do that right here to show you. If you accidentally registered as a Microsoft account versus an Altspace account, which is totally fine, what you want to do is hit forgot password when you're logging in to that plugin and have it email you your password. Reset it to the same one you're using for Altspace for the Microsoft's account, which should be the same account you're using. Um, and then this way you can log into that. That's some of the things that I have gotten from different people who try to do this. Their password doesn't work. So just hit forgot password, even though you know what it is, just retype it again, you'll be just fine. Now, once you're logged in, you're gonna notice a couple of things on that. You're gonna see where it says start streaming, which is right here. You're going to see the source, Edge tab, or the entire desktop. And then you're going to see the video quality. Now, depending on your internet, it'll detect what it feels you should do. Mine is a faster internet, so I use 720. That's a higher quality and a bigger window. You could do 1080, but 1080 can get choppy if your internet's slow. So I recommend 720 or even 480. So whatever your computer and internet can handle, the better the projection, the better the quality. So 
Keep it at 720, and again, if it's choppy when you're watching it, drop it to 480. I'm gonna keep it as this. So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna notice in this test that we're doing is we're actually just gonna stream the edge tab. All that really means is we're going to broadcast one tab out here that says YouTube in this browser. So make sure you select the tab that you want to broadcast. Again, I have YouTube up and running. You can always select a different tab. And then once you've got that going on, you're going to hit start streaming. Now you will notice that the flashing red button showing up that says stop streaming is flashing. And that means you are currently live. It is now time to move on to get it into the metaverse. As you can see right now, you do have that live button up here running. So anything you do in this tab will be broadcasted. In our example, we are going to click a video here. And then you always want to mi maximize your videos so not everybody's seeing the YouTube directories and so on. So I'm going to maximize that. And this is what it's broadcasting right now to the metaverse. So how the heck do we bring it into the world of metaverse now? Well, it's time to get into that as well. So what you're going to notice is that to my left over here, We've got the web projector on the wall. That's what controls everything. And to my right, the big triangle is actually just a TV, or as they call it, a mirror projector. This just mirrors what you have on the main one over there. And we're gonna walk you through how to get those established so you can be watching what you're streaming right now in the actual metaverse. So let's go ahead and get started on that piece right now. Also, one thing I do wanna point out is in alt space menu you need to only allow these projections to happen in your home world or in a world that you have control over now the question is how can you tell if you have control over a world well right down here on the right side of the screen that you're looking at right there there is a button called world editor and i'm going to hover my mouse over it so you can actually see it right here if you see that world editor, you have full control of the world. So you're gonna need two things to make this work. You're gonna make sure that you have world editor rights. If you don't, then you are in somebody else's world. And unless they give you admin rights, you are not gonna be able to do that. And the second thing is to be able to have the web projector enabled and running in this world. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna put my hands down there and I'm gonna select world editor now when i select world editor on here what you're going to notice is you're going to get a menu of things and you want to select the editor panel once you select the editor panel we need to bring in the web projector which is the one we're going to be streaming out of and then we can bring a projector tv as in this example of a conference room we've got the controller and we've got the mirror. They both work the same, only one controls, and both can play. So now that you've brought this up, uh, you're gonna highlight Alt Space, which is highlighted, and you're gonna go to Basics, and you'll notice the sixth one on here is the Web Projector. Now, when I click on that, you're gonna get a gigantic window. Now that gigantic window that's gonna come up is going to be your web projector. That's where you control the streaming out of. I'm not gonna click it because I already have one running, but I'm gonna take you to that screen in a second to show you what it looks like. Also, when you do click it, it's gonna be gigantic. So I'm gonna also show you how to shrink it down. Now, once you've got that in there and you wanna add a mirror, say you wanna add several TVs or one TV for many rooms, you can do as many projector mirrors as you want in a world and then stream them all from one controller. So for that, you can just hit project mirror. And what will happen is if I click on it, you get this window hovering right here. The same thing with the web projector itself. And that right there, you can 
enlarge it by hitting the little circle or bringing it in to make it smaller. You can adjust it left and right by these handles, corners. You can do the axis, forward, back, up, down, sideways, etc. Um, if you don't want it or if you just need to get rid of it, you can always just click the, you know, make sure it's selected and then you can just hit the little X and you'll get rid of that. So let's walk over to the projector and see how to, we enable this and how we turn on the big screen as well. Okay, so this is the web projector and there really is two things you can do, which is connect it, disconnect it, and stream it. Now, we're going to do that right now, but you will notice that if you try to do anything, there's gonna be a square box on it. Make sure this orange edit mode is not on. You're gonna have that on when you edit something, and if you're doing that, you're not gonna be able to control it because you're still editing the size, the shape, etc. So make sure to turn that off. You can even hit World Editor to bring that down so it's out of your way. And then what we're going to do is we're just gonna hit Connect. Now we're already streaming that YouTube that I showed you earlier. And now it's connecting to the computer streaming. Now you will notice that the screen is actually broadcasting what we have in our web browser, which I can bring up here for you. Here's our web browser streaming, and here's Altspace actually playing that. Now, there's a button next to the connect and disconnect, and that's gonna be your broadcast. That can stream it to multiple screens if you have multiple screens. So if you enable that, you'll hear the music. Um, you'll probably hear it in my headset right now playing as well. And if I turn my head, it is now playing in a big screen, as you can see right there. Let me turn around so you can see me. There we go. So it's playing on the big screen. It's playing in the projector. And I have multiple TVs within this world. So I've got one in the entry, as you can see right here. And then I've got one in the main foyer, which is a large version of a TV. Let me turn this puppy around. There we go. I've got one there. I also have them in several offices as well. But one controller controls all the screens. You can add as many screens as you want. I believe this world has 11 screens. Now, to stop it or disable it, you can do it from the controller itself, or you can actually disconnect it from the computer you're broadcasting from. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my mouse over the disconnect, and I'm going to stop the stream. That will stop it from actually showing up on all the screens as long as you've disconnected that in the system. Okay, so now we're getting into the bonus round. You're going to notice that you cannot play Amazon, Netflix, and or other subscription type services via the projector because they are blocked by Microsoft Edge. Now that is by design. So here is how you get around that. So for this steps, what you're going to do is you're going to download Firefox, Mozilla, onto your computer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sign in with your TV subscriptions into Firefox itself. Um, do note that when you are broadcasting Firefox or anything else, um, you've got to be cautious of you're broadcasting the entire computer, which we're going to go into. Once you've downloaded Firefox and you then logged in to your subscriptions. Then let's go back to the Edge browser. I'm gonna stop streaming, and then this time I'm actually going to do desktop application. Now, in regards to the desktop application, there is a couple of steps that you need to do. Once you've selected that, you're gonna hit start streaming. You're gonna hit share system audio, and then you're gonna tap on the window to enable the share. Now, I will turn off that browser as we're not going to be using that browser. So once it's streaming, 
you get a bar at the bottom letting you know that you are streaming the entire computer. So I'm going to hit hide on that. I'm going to get rid of this screen because we don't need it. Now, this is everything that is you're sharing into the metaverse to just give you a view of that. Let me go into metaverse and let me enable the connection. And you are going to notice that I'm literally mirroring the entire item. So now that you've got that working, go into your Mozilla or Firefox, select the show you want to watch. You can maximize the show. For this example, we're not going to maximize it, so you can actually see that's playing on here. And if we go into Metaverse, you will notice that actually because I've got it mirrored, it's going to show the screen I'm showing, but it, it's actually showing this screen onto the entire screen. Now, one thing, uh, let me bring this up and I'll shrink this window down to kind of show you. You'll notice on the right side that the screen is actually showing. It's just looping because I'm putting it in front of the other one, but it's actually playing the actual movie on Netflix. You can do that with Amazon. You can do that anything else. Now, I will make a quick note on something. When you are broadcasting your entire screen, do not check your emails, do not check social media, do not do chat messages because you're broadcasting to the entire metaverse world where you have these screens. Okay, so if you like this video, please share it, like it, and subscribe for more amazing Metalore content as we are here to show you the ropes. Now feel free to leave a comment or if you have any questions on this process because we are here to help you. I'm Israel Galindo from Metalore. Catch you in the metaverse. Spin this, DJ.